Good morning. I am going to be opening my book box from Book Depot that came this week. And I am working on mailing out my weekly book mail to raffle winners at Bristow Middle School. And that includes both teachers and students. Um, and you can see in the back there, I have all of those packages ready to go. Um, so there's a couple more that I need to do, but I think the books are in here, I hope. So the way that I do my book raffle is I send out um, a flyer to all the teachers so that they can hopefully share it with their students via Google Classroom or when they are meeting with them in their Google Meet. And I also put it in the library classroom um, to try to get students to see it there as well in case teachers aren't able to share it. And I have them fill out a very quick Google form that asks them what um, book they would like if they were to win. And I have a whole list that I give them. And I also ask them why I should send them the book mail. And I got that idea from Shannon McNeese over at Sedgwick, one of my colleagues. And I have um, so far done it for two weeks. I mailed out last week, I think, about 12 books to students. And this week I am going to be mailing out about the same. So I um, was very excited to get a bunch of copies of one of my favorite author's books, Leslie Connor, All Rise for the Honorable Perry T. Cook. So I definitely will be sending that to a few students because they asked for that title. I was also excited to see that they had the newest one from Stuart Gibbs available, Charlie Thorne and The Last Equation. So that one will go on the spreadsheet for this coming week's raffle. Um... Ooh, this one I haven't read myself yet, so I'm excited for this one. This one is Regarding the Fountain, A Tale in Letters of Liars and Leaks by Kate Kleiss and illustrated by M. Sarah Kleiss. And I just read their newest one coming out, uh, Don't Check This Book Out, I think is what it's called, and I absolutely loved it. It is witty and funny and definitely a book um, for book lovers, so I'm excited about this. And Shannon said that she loved this one, so I got a few copies of that one to share. Also, so excited about this book, 24 Hours um, in Nowhere by Dusty Bowling. Um, she is also one of my favorite authors. We are actually getting to do a visit with her on the 20th, virtually, for Insignificant Events in the Life of a Cactus. And I just got to ch a chance this week to read her next book coming out. Um, and oh my gosh, it is so, so harrowing. Um, it's about a girl who goes out to... Um, the desert with her father to explore and hike in a slot canyon and a flash flood happens and her dad gets swept away and she is having to survive and try to find him and uh, face the elements and all of the dangers of the desert. And it really reminds me of when I used to live in Arizona so that was a really fun read this week. Um, this one I got a couple extra copies of All of Me by Chris Barron because this book was a book that really touched me this this spring when I read it, and I'm hoping to do a book club with some students, either now, virtually, or when we get back to school next year. And this book um, is a book in verse, and it's a little bit more for a young adult, um, but such a powerful story about a teenager who really struggles with his, his body image and identity, and kind of finds strength in a variety of places. Uh, this book I have not yet read, but it's been on my list for a while, Slay, by Brittany Morris. Uh, again, YA, but I think this will really appeal to some of my 8th um, graders. And A Mall Unbound by Aisha Saeed. Um, this book is so affordable on Book Depot's website, so definitely check it out. It would make a great book club book, or um, we are hoping to add it to our 7th grade Language Arts Human Rights Unit for next year. So I think this one will be a popular one as well. Um, Jack and Louisa, Act 3. I'm not really familiar with this, but I saw the cover and I was really just interested. And it sounds like it might be a series since this is Act 3, so I'm going to look into that a little bit more. Ooh, my goodness. I, this is amazing. On the sticker of this one, um, The Strangers, Greystone Secrets is a series. The Strangers, Margaret Peterson Haddix, one of her newer ones. It says this is a signed first edition. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting, and I have a few copies. I might have to keep one of those for my bookshelf. Um, another Nowhere, 24 Hours of Nowhere. Ooh, for my graphic novel fans, Legends of Zeta, The Space Girl. Um, I know that 
I have a lot of readers who have read this series at my school, um, so I'm thinking that some of them might like to win that as book mail. And this one I wasn't familiar with either, but it, the cover really grabbed me. It's Riders of the Realm Across the Dark Water. And it is by Jennifer Lynn Alvarez, so it looks like good fantasy. I have a lot of fantasy fans in my school. This one also was a new one to me, All the Ways Home by Elise Chapman. Um, so not really sure what that one's about, but it says sometimes home isn't where you expect to find it. Um, I just think that sounds like a, a really grabbing um, tagline. And I think the rest in here are just copies of books I already talked about. So, so much fun opening up uh, book mail, especially from Book Depot. Check them out. They have some really amazing things that are happening to support teachers and schools during this um, really stressful time. And they want to help us get books into the hands of kids. So, check their website out, Book Depot, um, I think, .com. Just do a Google search of them and they will come up. And I hope you have a great day full of a lot of great books. Bye!